In this video, we're going to go over some word problems that involve scales. Proportions are all over these things. Let's check it out. The scale on a map is 1 centimeter to 25 kilometers. So that's the ratio that we're given. How far apart on the map are two cities that are 62.5 kilometers apart in actuality? So if you remember, when we do scale problems, the scale is the model or drawing compared to the actual distance or amount. So model to actual is what we're keeping in our head. So we're going to use that. So the model is one centimeter compared to 25 kilometers. That is the ratio that we're using. So that ratio needs to be equal on the other side of this proportion that we're forming because we know that we have the actual of 62.5 kilometers. So that's 62.5, let me make that six a little bit more solid. So it's 62.5 kilometers that the actual amount is on the other side. So the rate on the right hand side will be equal to the rate on the left hand side because we're using the same map with that rate. Now we don't know what the model amount or the map amount is, that's what we're being asked. I'm gonna call that x. Now if you wanna be fancy, you could define your variable and say x equals the map distance, and I'll just abbreviate that. But you might need to write it out in four words if you have one of those very formal teachers, which is great if you do. So now we've got ourselves a proportion, and all we have to do is solve that proportion. Next we cross multiply. Nothing to simplify on either side, so I'm gonna multiply one by 62.5. That gives me 62.5 is equal to x times 25, 25x. Now to undo 25 times x, we divide both sides by 25. And what we're left here, and I'll put the work over here, what we're left with here is a very simple calculator problem. 62.5 divided by 25 ends up being 2.5. So x is equal to 2.5, and 2.5 what? Well, if you look at this proportion, we see that it'd be 2.5 centimeters, because we're doing centimeters to kilometers here. So 2.5 centimeters, and that's the distance on the map. It's all about setting up that proportion, again, with corresponding parts, model to actual, using the scale. This problem tells us two cities measure 12 centimeters apart on the map. What is the actual distance between the cities? So now we're flipping this around. We still have model to actual. So we're still comparing model to the actual amount. That's our governing idea when it comes to scales. Now with model to actual, I still have one centimeter on the map to 25 kilometers in actuality. That rate will be equal to the rate of the map amount, which in this case we have is now 12 centimeters compared to the actual amount, which is what we want to find. So I'll call that x. That x would be in kilometers. So again, we could define that x over here. x equals the actual distance. I'll say act dist, just to abbreviate it. Now, all we need to do is cross multiply. x times 1 is x. 25 times 12 is, it's going to be nice, 300. And we know that our units need to be in kilometers because that's the comparison point that we were trying to find. So the actual distance between the cities, 300 kilometers. Stay tuned. On the next clip, we're going to go over another word problem. Sweet. And here we have another scale word problem. Let's dig right into it. It says you build a model of a car with the scale of 1 inch compared to 18 inches, or 1 inches for every 18 inches. How high is your model if the actual car is 60 inches tall? So this is similar to that map word problem or word problems that we went over earlier in the video in that we are going to be comparing the model to the actual. It's always model to actual when we talk scales. You can do actual to model, but just as a convention, meaning just so that we have a standard way of approaching it, we'll keep it as model to actual. So our model to actual ratio is given right here. We're told that we have one inch on the model to 18 inches on the actual. So we would have one inch compared to 18 inches is that ratio that we're operating under. We want to know how high the model needs to be if the actual car is 60 inches. So we know that this ratio will be equal to another ratio where the actual height is 60 inches 
but the unknown amount is the model. So I'll put x right there and we'll define our variable where x equals the, and I'll say the model height. So once we have our proportion all set up with corresponding parts, model to actual equals model to actual, we just need to do our damage with math by solving the proportion. We're going to cross multiply seeing that we cannot simplify this any further. 60 times one is 60. 18 times x is 18x. We're left with an equation that we've solved many a time now. We're gonna undo multiplication of 18 by x by dividing by 18. And of course, we've gotta do that on both sides. And now we're left with, I'm gonna bring my variable to the left, just switching things up a little bit, it's all good. 60 divided by 18, that can be reduced by dividing by the greatest common factor of six. Six goes into 60 10 times and into 18 three times. So we have 10 thirds inches. Well, I think that's better read as three and one third inches. So that means the height of your model needs to be three and a third inches to correspond to a one inch to 18 inch model to actual car ratio.